and now they're going to be tossing Andre Johnson out of the game for sure. He'll get the thumb because he connected on a couple of haymakers on Finnegan. Wouldn't be surprised if Finnegan doesn't get an early shower too. Jeff Fisher on the field trying to help restore order. Remember they were going after it on the previous play. And Finnegan instigated it on this play right at the line of scrimmage. We asked Matt Schaub about the matchup. He said it's always like a street fight when you take on Tennessee. You have to be willing to bloody your nose against them. And we know one another quite well. Andre Johnson's going to be escorted to the locker room. Right here by a few of the uh, personnel staff. Casey Stuttered as well as the headband. Andre Johnson's day is over. It was building between him and Finnegan. They've been matched up on one another the entire afternoon. And Johnson has gotten the better of Finnegan. Nine catches, 56 yards, one touchdown. And now an early shower. Whether Finnegan goes to the locker room as well, we'll have to wait and hear from our officiating crew. Luke Blakeman in the white hat. Getting all the input from his fellow Zebras. Well, we know Finnegan is feisty and physical. He likes to talk out there. Now, he did his talking with his fist to begin this play as he went right to the face mask of Andre Johnson, knocked his helmet off, and uh, it was on. Finnegan talking to the sideline now, the Texans. Houston players trying to tell the officials that Finnegan should also be tossed from this game. Cleet Blakeman is going to sort it out. There are personal foul penalties against uh, both teams. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness after the play number 80 of the offense. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness number 31 of the defense. Both of those players are ejected. The Tennessee's ball at the end of the line. First down. And that's the right decision. That is the right decision by the officials. Toss them both out because of this action right here. Finnegan gets the first shot, then gets his helmet knocked off. He takes off Johnson, and now Johnson is going to get a couple of good shots in there, or bad shots, if you will. And they're both gone, as well they should be. Well, you just don't see that in the NFL very often. That uppercut right there landed. Johnson has been ejected. Finnegan has been tossed from the game as well. Corbin Finnegan believed at that point that it was Johnson that would be tossed out and he would be able to remain in the game. It's not the case. Now both of those actions, you know, the shot by Finnegan to begin with and then taking the helmet fourth off. Fourth down at the spot here for Houston. Fourth down and both dead ball fouls. And now Blakeman corrects himself. It is fourth down. Now the question is going to be, will there be further ramifications from the league? This is the play before when Johnson and Finnegan got into it. And Johnson has a knack of getting Finnegan's helmet off his head. Well, and it was the last shot there when Johnson pushed him in the back. They almost go at her right there. And now just a few seconds later, the helmet comes off again. Finnegan rips off Johnson's helmet. 
And physically, this is a bit of a mismatch. Johnson goes 228 at 6'3". Finnegan just about 190 pounds. He's got to go, though. So they will walk Finnegan to the locker room. It's a fourth and one. Finnegan will jog off and give a wave to the crowd here in Houston. And who knows, this could cost both players another week, depending upon how the NFL deals with it. Time out. Yeah. 